Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the ECMWF 42 day slash six weeks okay for the UK and Ireland for today's second video and I shall get on that for you in a moment just to say about the first video release was our 6am upload and what we get forecast and day 14 day with all our break features coming up to you later on this afternoon please like share subscribe on the O's and we thank you so very much for doing that you should have to go to IMT for supplying us with the charts as well. Right, we'll do it, thanks. Oh, did uh, shall we? We're going to begin with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly. It's going to take us from the 17th to 24th of October. Wow, wow, wow. Just next Monday, someone's having a birthday. I don't know. High pressure will be dominating across most parts of Europe with low pressure out in the Atlantic. And uh, winds will be coming up from a southerly direction. So uh, that looks like it should be quite warm, doesn't it? We'll have a look at temperature only in a moment. 500 millibar heights only with above average heights all over the place, really. Uh, lots of high pressure around. Low pressure is uh, around the Azores and towards Portugal. Again, that should bring up like a southerly. Warm temperature anomalies. Look at this in most parts of Europe and the UK. Ireland included in that as well. Not as warm for us as it is over on the continent, but even so, temperatures around 1 to 3 degrees above average will be very pleasant, I would have thought. Not completely dry though, precipitation anomaly is a little bit drier than average just to our north, but a little bit wetter than average, wow, 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 to the south. Right, well week two is going to be the 24th to the 31st of October, and uh, we've got lower pressure and control of the weather now, so low pressure takes back control. And uh, high pressure heads up towards Greenland up there. So um, you would think that that's going to be reasonably myself, but Conrad would be flirting. A little bit of a flirt with the north, maybe. The five, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm being very silly on this. The 500 millibar high zone has below average heights over to the northeast of the country, above average heights in the Atlantic. Could that get the wind into the north? Got it, got it, got it. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. Well, it's still a bit above average, though, but not as much as it is in week one. So we are near normal to like one degree above. It's a bit cold and average near to Iceland, though. Lucky old them. And the um, precipitation anomaly is near normal to just a little bit wetter than average to our east, actually. So, um, like, on the periphery of, of a trough, I think, really. The trough is through there. I think that could be a little bit colder than the mall suggests, actually. I think that could pull in some northerly winds. Uh, week three is going to be the 31st of October to the 7th of November. Oh, oh. Now, this is interesting. Da, da, da. High pressure starting to appear in the Norwegian Sea. Somewhere between Iceland and uh, Scandinavia. And, uh, well, could that get wind into the east? I wonder. I wonder. The uh, 500 millibar height on. Now, that's not quite so exciting, though, is it? Just generally a large area of above average heights covering the North Atlantic and much of Northern Europe as well. Drat. So sorry, everyone. Uh, temperature normally looks like that. Above average. Look at that. Above average, despite the blocking, still above average by about a degree. Uh, now, the precipitation along is a bit drier than average to the north. A little bit drier than average to the north, otherwise near normal. Right, week four will be the 7th to the 14th of November. Anticyclonic. High pressure very close to the country, maybe a little bit to the northwest. Could that pull something in a little bit colder from the north <laughs> this time? We fail with the easterly. Let's see if that happens. Happen to bring everything cold in from the north. 500 millibar high tonight. It still looks like that. Just a general ridge over much much of the 
North Atlantic and Western Europe. Don't get that rich further northwards to turn it cold and get wind in from the northeast, really. Cold is there if that's going down into like northern, northeastern Europe through there, really. So we're kind of on the edges of it as always, aren't we? Uh, temperature anomaly uh, looks like that for the fourth week. Again, a little bit above average of the UK and for Ireland. I most parts of Europe have no signal. I reckon this area could be quite cold for those of you watching around there. Right, and the uh, precipitation anomaly for week four looks like that. So generally on the drier side, really, with all that high pressure knocking about. Right, <coughs> week five is going to be the 14th to the 21st of November. Here we go. Oh, now weakening, sig Ooh, now weakening signals here. So it looks like high pressure. Something's drifting over to the east of Europe over there. Some of it is still out in the North Atlantic and towards Green. I remember there's some low pressure down here. Uh, so let's have a look at 500 millibar height. Oh, looking very ridgy, isn't it? It's going to be a very dry November if this comes off. Loads and loads of high pressure just knocking about. The uh, 500 millibar height is normally once more. It's a little bit above average to near normal. And uh, lastly, precipitation wise, very, very weak signals by now. It does look really wet towards Spain, though. Um, we're about average with precipitation. And then lastly, we're into a final week of November, which is the 21st, 28th of November. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's have a look, 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 let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, well, not that exciting, really, is it? So, low pressure is around France and into the Med. Into a bit of a high pressure just out to our northwest, maybe. But main area of high pressure is over the eastern side of Europe. Will the 500 millibar heights are any, any more exciting? Oh, well, that could be a little bit more interesting, couldn't it? Above average heights there in the North Atlantic, but they are extending northwards towards, 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 <laughs> towards Slobba! Probably a trough of low pressure just to be south of all that high pressure. The temperature anomaly for week six. It's about average to a little bit above. Nothing cold doing with the C this week. And the precipitation anomaly week silver again looks quite dry. Very dry November coming up. We might have a November drought. Wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> November drought, all the dry weather. I had a couple of wetter months through September and October. If the J, what am I talking about? If the CMS is right, no, the ECM. What model am I looking at? Is it the JMA? Is it the ECM? <laughs> is it, is it, is it CFS? What, what are we looking at? Is the ECM? <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm a little bit ditzy today. I've had too much magic. <laughs> I'm starting the celebrations early for my birthday. That's the thing. Uh, I've gone off to an early start. No. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> um, if the ECM is right... Uh, then, uh, then we're in for a drought in November after a couple of wetter months. So, uh, so yeah, we should wait and see, you know, we'll wait and see what happens. But, uh, that's how it's looking this week anyway. Uh, right, okay, well, that turned into a bit of a shambles, didn't it? I'll stop the video there and, uh, I'll go and see whether we've got a new chancellor yet. Uh, whether... <laughs> The latest one is still in post. Uh, we'll be back later on, though, with uh, we get broadcast and also uh, with the 10 to 14 day as well. So that will be coming up a bit later on for this week's EC 42 day forecast. That's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.